Many people have asked me, why do I collect so much PVC? I use a lot of PVC parts. I use a lot of fittings. It can be PVC. It can be metal. I use all sizes from half inch up to eight inch. And we collect and try and assemble as much as we can here at Highland Hill Farm. I take it in through barters. For example, if you want to deer hunt, you bring me a couple pieces of PVC fittings or parts, and I let you hunt for the day. And you can hunt for deer, rabbits, turkey, dove. And then what we do is we use these PVC parts on our nurseries and on our ranches. Some of our ranches are up to 100 miles from a store. So what I do is I'll box up material and send it out to our different ranches to have us inventory. But these PVC parts and things are used a lot around here in Pennsylvania at our Fountainville Nursery. And what I do is I, I use some of these for things such as mouse bait feeders. I put the mouse bait inside an enclosed on one end piece of PVC and this protects it from weather and then I can take it out into our nursery where we think we may have a bunch of mice and I'll set it set them down in strategic places now rain won't bother the the rat bait nor will birds which I don't want to to eat my rat bait because it's a non-target I don't want to hurt birds I want to help help the birds but I just don't want to make it available to anything but the small little rodents like mice and moles and voles and things like that that could crawl inside this tube and get its dinner. At Highland Hill Farm we barter for many items using our trees and shrubs. Yes, I admit I've even bartered for some Jack Daniels. But some of the common things we barter for are hose caddies, use hose reels, which we use with our irrigation lines. We also barter for PVC and black poly pipe, which we use in wells and also for irrigation lines. A lot of people have used poly pipe, especially when they take out their well. And we also go around and we collect stakes for our trees, barbed wire and woven wire. And we even collected some pallet uh, cages here that are on pallets. Yes, we even got some pressure treated and locust fence posts and then more black poly pipe. I even once traded for a red boss tree spade that we used to dig our trees in the field. These are our Fraser firs that we have available. This is about the smallest size that we start at. We have Fraser firs that go all the way up to 12 and 14 feet tall. These are pre-cut. We also have a couple fields out in the back where you can go and cut your own Christmas tree. They are Norway spruce. We have about 8,000 trees out in the field ready for you to go cut. These are our Douglas firs. These are about 7 to 8 and maybe 8 to 9 foot tall ones. We have small ones. They range about the smallest is about 5 to 6, 6 to 7 ish. And we have them going all the way up to about 12 to 14 feet tall. Oh, we have a couple of different other varieties of firs, but this is just a good example of what a Douglas that we have. For sale. These are reeves that we hand make here at Highland Hill Farm. We have a couple of different sizes and we have a couple of different types of foliers that we use. We have branches of American holly available here at Highland Hill. These are some examples of some of the smaller bald and burlap trees that we offer here at Highland Hill Farm. We can load them into your car or onto a pickup truck. We also have a delivery service where we deliver these trees. And in the spring and summer and fall, we also deliver and install Christmas trees, arborvitas, and shade trees. We're located on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. We also have operations in Milan, PA and Lenore, North Carolina. So we do ship up and down the East Coast. We are wholesale and retail. You can stop in. Our daylight hours for Christmas season is 7 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. seven days a week till Christmas. Have a good Christmas. Give us a call. 215-651-8329 if you need more help.
This video is brought to you by Highland Hill Farm. We grow and sell screening and buffering trees for privacy and sound barriers. 